Hello guys and welcome to episode 57 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This week I'm going to be modeling a sci-fi corridor. That's going to be fun. It's actually featuring one of the all time favorite things I know and that's symmetry. My brain is a bit geared strangely so I love everything that's symmetry. That would be everything except my own face. That would probably look quite strange in the symmetry. How did I go on to that? But I'm going to be featuring symmetry and repetition and repetition and repetition and repetition. That's another favorite thing of mine. Let's check it out. We'll make a sci-fi corridor and see what it looks like. For the 57th time, let's get ready, steady, go. Yes, we're off. Have I got screen cast keys? Yeah. Tab into edit mode. A to select everything, scale it up and scale it on the x-axis and scale it excessively on the y-axis. Make a corridor segment. That should do. And let's do uh, auto mirror, of course. We're going to symmetrize this thing. So, and then I'll do control alt and select that one to loop or ring select control B. And we want this, uh, actually I want it more. Control B again. Let's make it more shaped. And delete faces. Everything a ulti extrude long face normals. That's going to be the shape of our corridor segment. I'm going to disable the shadows because we're working inside this uh, hole here. So A select everything and I'm going to change from the gray here to a more of a sci-fi looking uh, blue tint steel, blue steel. And control R loop cut and we're going to do a, quite a few loop cuts here. Control R. Over here is going to be like a door section. So uh, could be maybe like this. Control R. Do a few loop cuts again. And here I'm gonna do shift select these to there. Alt E extrude long face normals. This should look pretty good, I think, when we repeat it, hopefully. And this one, I to inset, alt E to extrude long face normals, and one more time here. I to inset. Should we go in here instead? No, we'll go out. Alt the extra long face normals. I want it like this. Just slightly. Okay, can't make up my mind. Control R, but I can make up my mind about loop cutting here. So Control R. We'll do Control R here as well. A few more. Should we put a, a big window here? I think so. So the loop cuts don't go through when we have auto mirror on. That's a bit of a pain. So I'll do that on the outside. Alt Z so I can see through and match these roughly. They don't have to be exact. Control R, Alt Z. Do a wide one. I think so. Alt Z. Here. Select those. Okay, I should have one there as well. Maybe. Otherwise, it might go weird on me. That's it. Alt Z. Now we'll select these. And I don't know if I should do Control R first. I think I want one more loop cut. I want to put them slightly higher here. Item set. Alt D to extrude long face normals. To there, delete faces, and then Alt Shift Select on the edges there. Right click and do bridge edge loops. So we're gonna have just a hole there, I think, instead of a. What we could do: Shift D, scale on the x-axis, scale Z slightly, E to extrude. No, I don't know what I'm doing there. Let's skip that while I can. Here I'm going to put uh, a console of some sort over here. Should we put it here? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I to inset. Alt E to extrude long face normals. Grab those. Slide those in just. Make them a bit more vertical. And here we'll put something else as well. I to inset. Well, here we'll do these. Should we do it like? Yeah. I to inset. E to extrude. Okay, I'm gonna go cancel that because I want something more here. Cancel more. Control Z, good key. Uh, I to inset. Or should I do Alt E already here? Extrude long face normals. I might do it like this. GG. GG. And then here I'll do Shift D, scale, scale Z, E to extrude. We put a window sill. Sieve? Sill? Window sill. Let's put a window sill here. Every space corridor needs a window sill, I'm pretty sure. Uh, L to select the, that link to move it. And then um, Control R, loop cut that one. Should we bring that in? Control R again, loop cut. 
So that's it. And here I'll put some shift D. <laughs> uh, should we do it like that? Yeah. Uh, e to extrude. GG. L to select the linked. Shift D, Y, and then duplicate that one once, going twice. That's it. And over here, a gutter needs the uh, needs to be here in case there's uh, some aircon leakage. E to extrude, and that needs to be dark. Control R. Should we put one in the center as well? I think so. Shift select to there. Oh no, I have to do Control select. I to inset. B to get the boundary thing. So the mirror part there, and G. Control R. I'm gonna have some insurance claims here, I think, from uh, failing droids. They're gonna get stuck on these uh, rivets. I to inset, E to extrude, just slightly, so the droids can uh, traverse maybe in the center here. They have to have lubed up wheels so they can get across here. E to extrude. Control R, loop cut there. Should we do... Um, Another control R maybe. GG. And I to inset. E to extrude. So, ever so slightly. I'm gonna shade these as well so you can see that they're going down. G. That's it. Okay, we need uh, more uh, more stuff here. So I E to extrude, apparently. That's what I pressed. I to inset, that's what I meant to press. But that's okay. E to extrude that one. G. Slide that one down. G, slide it up. How am I doing? 344. Let's make that one really dark. Or should we make like a screen here? This is a screen. Uh, e to extrude and pitch black. There's no message on it yet. We need something in, this, in the roof here as well. I to inset. E to extrude. G to move. Here. I'll do uh, I to inset that one. E to extrude down. GG. And here, I think I'm going to put some repeat repeating things here as well. So, E to extrude that on. Control R. GG. L. Or should we do I to inset, E to extrude, right click and slide it to there. L to select the link to Shift D, Y. And Shift R. Oh. Okay. Shift D. Y and there and shift R again. That's it. Okay, more uh, 243. I'm just gonna go a little bit, uh, keep doing this thing. So I to inset, E to extrude in, G to move it on the left side for the UVs, make it darker. And here as well, I to inset, E to extrude out, select those, G, G. And here we'll do I to inset again, E to extrude and darker. Maybe we should have something lighter. Maybe we'll do these lighter. L, 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 G, lighter. This one as well. Should we do? Control plus and lighter. And I'm going to put some fake plumbing up here, I think. So shift D, scale that one down. Clipping off for now. Scale it. Scale on the X axis. Clipping back on. E to extrude. Uh, I to inset. E to extrude. Okay, I did it too much. You went too far. Uh, control Z. I to inset. E to extrude. E to extrude again. No, but E to extrude. That one. Shift D. Scale it. E to extrude. L to select. Scale Z. That's it. Okay, how am I doing? 129. So maybe I'll still do uh, some more. Should we do another one here? I to inset. E to extrude. And here, I to inset, E to extrude, maybe some... Okay, I'm gonna do some uh, alt select. We'll do some fake shadowing here, I think. I'm gonna select a few of these, alt se ring select these, or loop select them. Maybe like that. And then G, move them down slightly so they go darker. 53 seconds. Shift D, duplicate that one, scale Y, E to extrude, E to extrude, should we do something here? E to extrude that one down, GG, I to inset, and E to extrude, and darker. 
Okay, we need, we've got 33 seconds, so I need to replicate, like, repeat this thing. No. Shift space G, move it to there. Tab internet mode. Or we'll just duplicate the whole object, I think. Shift D, Y. And just do a rough approximation for now, like that. And then Shift R a few times. I think that's it. That's going to be our. Uh, we've got seven seconds to spare. And uh, I can't do anything now because I haven't done a, a replicated copy. We've got some uh, dints there, but I think so. I think it's all right. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm not entirely in love with this corridor. Maybe it'll grow on me in time. Maybe it's the colors. Maybe it's look a little bit too bland. Maybe uh, too. Uh, I don't even know. I can't even put words on it. What do you think? Put it in the comments. Hmm. I should practice this a little bit more. But after all, we did make a low poly corridor and it made me think a little bit about Space Quest, the very first episode of Space Quest, Space Quest 1 by Sierra. If you don't have a clue what I'm going on about, check out your internet history and uh, Google Space Quest 1. That was an epic game. Graphic was amazing for the time. But uh, I think uh, we could have a look at what that would look like because uh, that was a side view game. So imagine, uh, I haven't got any idea what this would look like, but let's test it out. I just tried to put this uh, astronaut that I modeled last year into the corridor and if you were making a side view game, low poly style, he's just walking in the same spot now but you could imagine if I do just uh, let's grab move and do a, like some fake movement here, you can imagine this corridor just sliding along. I'm definitely thinking about those old uh, Sierra style games where you had like the side view and you walked through these uh, space quest like corridors. Mm, I want to make one of those. Please invent me some time and I'll make a game like that. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you take care now and I'll see you back next Thursday. Make sure you subscribe as well, because just in a couple of days or so, I'm going to be releasing a brand new tutorial about how to make an endless runner, low poly style, of course. So check that one out and hit the like button if you liked the video and come back next week for another 10 minute modeling challenge. Until then, take care. Bye for now.